Hello and welcome to the Doxa Conspiracy. We are playing Air Mech by Carbon Games. It is free to play on Steam right now as an early access game. I believe right now uh, there is only competing against the AI and multiplayer. There's no campaign. This is a strategy game that is not in a released state yet. But we're going to go ahead and try it out here. I've never played it before. I just now made an account. So we're going to see how it goes. I'm not going to watch any tutorials or anything. I'm just going to play. We're going to wing it. Okay. We're going to do solo right now. I don't know what I'm doing. 1v1, sure, why not? Classic or survival? Classic, I guess. Want to get free kudos and XP? Play the tutorial. Hmm. Okay, fine. Look at her. Welcome to basic pilot training. You are in control of the most... No, oh, no, no, I gotta do it in her voice, because I can totally do that. Welcome to the most basic pilot training. You are in control of the most advanced combat mech ever created, the air mech. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> that is... Uh, what? Did I just shoot? Whoa! That is awesome! First, we're gonna try moving around. Use the WASD keys to move around the training area. Whoa, whoa. Great, now let's test your mobility. Move to the highlighted locations in sequence. Try strafing and moving diagonally. Easy enough. Excellent, everything seems to be working properly. And now to calibrate your weapons system, or what I like to call the fun stuff. Click the left mouse button to fire your primary guns. Oh, I already figured that one out. Target practice. I'll bring up a captured enemy unit that has had its weapons removed. Destroy the captured Bucky. Great job. Maybe a bit too easy, though. How about a live fire exercise? Let's see how you take out the Whoa! Pretty good for your first time. Your air mech is more powerful than most units, but groups of them can be dangerous. Fortunately, you have a special ability that they lack. You can trans... I can, I can be a jet? I'm a transformer? Alright. center area. Fly over it and press space to pick it up. And drop it. You can also use right mouse button to pick up and shift right click to drop. Don't let them destroy my tank. Okay. fun to be with, and will fight tirelessly for your cause. Sweet, he's gonna help me take over the world. It's you and me, whatever your name is. Charlie. Your name is now Charlie. When you find yourself damaged, your air mech will automatically repair when not absorbing damage from combat. Also remember that you need to be in ground form to target ground units with this air mech's guns. Let's switch to air mode, fly to the outpost, to the right, okay. I'm there. Heal me and any units I'm carrying, and recharge my energy. The green bar above your air mech represents your health, while the teal bar represents your energy. Energy is what your air mech uses to power all of its systems. When on the ground, you regenerate energy faster than you can consume it, while in air mode, it's the opposite. 
other things can consume energy as well, such as abilities. We'll touch on that in just a minute. For now, it looks like your Longhorn tank took some damage during the last battle. Let's go pick it up and carry it back to the outpost to heal it. I am con oh, click anywhere to continue. As a note, if you run out of energy while carrying units, you will automatically drop the unit. Oops. Now that your Longhorn tank is all healed up, we'll go to outpost capturing. I have disabled your controls for this demonstration. Stand by. Outposts can change teams during the course of the battle. Usually they begin as neutral and must be captured before granting any benefits. We'll go over the benefits that each type of outpost provide later, but for now we'll focus on capturing. While any infantry class unit is small enough to enter an outpost and capture it, it must first be neutralized before the defenses are lowered and infantry can enter. Neutralizing is done by dealing damage to the outpost until all four of the lights on top are out and the building turns gray. Let's see what happens when we let the enemy take over this outpost. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. When all four lights are on, control of the outpost converts to the captor and it must be neutralized again before it can be recaptured. Let's retake the outpost. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. That's right. I'll need to build another one before we can take the outpost. Put down the tank, okay. I'm trying. Can't put it down. I... Oh, I need to put it down over here. The large building here is your fortress. Destroying your enemy's fortress is your ultimate goal, as is protecting your own. If your air mech is destroyed, it will always rebuild here. Your fortress behaves similar to an outpost. It will heal you and your units, and you can pick up built units here as with an outpost. However, unlike the outposts, the fortress cannot be captured. Both your fortress and any outpost you control will generate credits, and you can which you can use to build units. You should now see the interface element that displays your available credits as well as how many you are earning per second. You can build infantry. Use the mouse wheel and press Q to bring up the build menu. Soldier, okay. Notice the cost to build and is subtracted from your total credits. Unlike other units, most infantry cannot be given orders, which we'll go over later. I guess now we wait. Pick him up. Drop him near the outposts. Excellent. Leveling and abilities. Each air mech has its own unique skill set and features. Several abilities to put points into that you acquire whenever you level up. I've turned on the experience and ability interface now displayed across the top of your screen. see the yellow bar is experience. That makes sense. When you level up, you grant, it grants you one skill point to place at your leisure into any of the abilities in the upper left. Okay. Put a skill point into power, sword, and shield. Put them to work. Hold down right click to activate left to attack. Huh. Cool. Yeah. I have a this. It's like a lightsaber. Also notice how your energy goes down when you take damage with the ability active. That's because the shield is created by channeling energy from your mech's power core. 
When you run out of energy, your shield dissipates. Since you are then out of energy, you will also fly slower, so be mindful of how much damage you are taking to your energy reserves, as cutting it too close could leave you in a sticky situation. That's a little ab that's a little about this striker air mech's abilities. You will come across other air mech types during your career, and each has its own unique skills and abilities to master. Orders. <clears throat> Oops, didn't mean to skip that. There are five different orders you can give: capture, attack, patrol, link, hold. Each one has its own uses. Pick up the Longhorn tank, send it to capture the enemy control outpost. Come on, Charlie. We've got a mission. Where is it? South. All right. There it is. Get him, Charlie. The capture order, which is T on your keyboard, sends your unit to, to attack the nearest outpost. And any defenses that may be protecting it. All right, there we go. The tank is neutralizing that outpost. We'll go over the last couple items, the minimap, and the power system. There's the minimap. The dot is blinking. It means it's being captured. Ah, okay. That's what it's talking about. So this is, if it's more blue, that means I'm controlling it. Got it. Interface display for power is on the bottom. The blue bar is remaining power that is stored. The actual value that this bar represents is in the center of the power display. Okay. Fortress and outposts generate power. Upkeep is the combined cost of all your units on the field at any given time. If your upkeep ever exceeds your power generation per second, you will resort to using your stored power. Inbound enemy units coming from the southwest. Uh oh. Defend the fortress. Whoops. Charlie. No wait, that isn't Charlie. This is Charlie. Good, I didn't care about that guy. Amazing, I thought you were totally toast there. Looks like you may have what it takes after all. Two additional tanks. They want to build some more units? Sure do. How do I do that? Aha. Soldier, T-45, Joker, Longhorn. Give an attack order to your tank. It's the Y key. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, let's pick up the tank and hit Y. It just knows what to do. Go, minions. And I think we're holding two infantry. I guess. I'm not sure what they're doing. Oh, they're taking over that place. Makes sense. Let's get some more Longhorn tanks. Yeah. <laughs> 
Soldier, soldier, soldier. Alright, now we can go to that fortress. Or this is a fortress, this is a... I don't even remember what it's called. Something. Well done, recruit. I think you're going to shape up to be a fine air mech commander. Take some time to explore the other training challenges in the learn section. Good luck out there. Alright then. Well, that was Air Mech by Carbon Games. I think we're going to play this some more, but I'm going to end this video here. Next time, we'll play an actual game against the AI. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to give the video a like. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. That would be great. Have a good one.